Hey guys, it's Matt Barchmere from Warrior Fitness in Health and in this short vlog, I'm gonna be suggesting to you and asking you to stop copying the majority of people out there and start doing the exact opposite and you will actually be just fine, okay? So, what do I mean by this? Firstly, this is not an attack on anyone. This is a self-improvement video that we can look at what some people do and do the opposite and it will be absolutely amazing. And we can look at what successful people do, copy them, and it will be amazing. So what do I mean by this? So if we look at a high percentage of the population, high percentage of the population are unfit. They are obese, they eat fast food, they don't have any savings, they're in debt, they are unhappy, and they're unsatisfied with their life. That is a high percentage of the population and that's not me talking that's public figures so i'm just oh i'm only stating government statistics so i think it's fair to assume if a high percentage of people are in that condition or those conditions it would make sense that whatever behavior they're doing we should, perhaps shouldn't be copying them we should be doing something else here's an idea maybe we should look at what successful people are doing and copy that. So what we might do here, we might look at someone we perceive as a role model, look at what they're doing, look at their journey, and maybe copy them a little bit more than actually copying the masses and becoming a statistic. So I've wrote some ideas down here just to, because uh, I don't want this to turn into a rant, so I've, I've wrote down about seven ideas here. So majority of people do not get their 10,000 steps in per day, okay? Let's not become a statistic just start going out for a walk 20 minutes a day and just see where it leads you. See if you build up from 20 minutes. See if you want to start counting your steps. But just generally, start moving more. Park the car further away from work or from the supermarket and do some more walking. Go to the furthest toilet away in your office block. So majority of people don't get the 10,000 steps. So here's an idea what we're going to do as warriors. We're just going to walk more. Let's do the opposite of what the masses do. So... A high percentage of the people, they eat processed food, they eat fast food, they eat packaged food, they eat processed food, they eat easy convenience food. Here's an idea. Go to a supermarket and actually explore what fresh fruit and veg and food preparation actually tastes and looks like. Find some very simple recipes that you can cook from scratch. Instead of going to buy a frozen lasagna ready meal, go and buy some mints, go and buy some... Uh, pasta sheets go and go, learn how to make cheese, cheese sauce from scratch and bolognese sauce and make something from scratch and let's try some real food if the majority of people are obese and unfit and they're using processed food let's try some real food and let's eat a little bit less of it and let's have a look at how that turns out for us um next one majority of people have got no savings or are living level with or just below the poverty line uh, they spend money on changing their state or their emotions and they live in a world of instant gratification. So they may smoke, they may drink, they may take drugs, they may eat fast food. They're, they're looking for the quick fix to change their mental state. Here's, here's an idea. Drink less, smoke less, have a look at what's causing you stress in the first place and instead of trying to mask them emotions, maybe let go of some of the activities that are causing them emotions. And why don't we try saving a little before we spend a lot? Maybe just have an agreement or start a brand new small habit where we save one pound per week. And maybe that may just grow to one pound 50 per week, two pound 50 per week. But if the majority of people are on the poverty line below it or just above it, surely it would make sense to not do that and do something different. And if you look at what successful people do, they advocate saving at least 5%, 5%, 10% of your income every month. Now, you might not be able to do that, but you can start with a pound a week. You can buy one bottle of wine less and put four pound in a jar and agree not to touch it. And so let's have a go at doing the opposite of what the majority of population do. Um, right, so... The majority of other people, they're, they're staying up late. They're watching box sets. They're watching trash telly. 
they're they're not getting enough sleep they're not getting enough quality of sleep they're not getting enough quantity of sleep here's an idea um maybe have some gadget free time for an hour before bed every night maybe limit yourself to the amount of telly that you watch and maybe do a bit of educating yourself instead maybe read a book read a, a blog listen to a vlog listen to a podcast maybe maybe less entertainment more education okay um next one so majority of people are stuck indoors all the time so they might work inside they might spend a lot of time in the car they come home and are inside here's an idea in your free time maybe get outside a little bit more get out in nature get out in greenery go for a walk turn your phone off um walk more or bike more instead of being stuck in box shaped transport like cars buses that that sort of stuff if the majority of people are spending most of the time inside and they're obese and overweight and unhealthy why don't we do the opposite and actually get outside a little bit more and just be in nature a little bit more and yeah i think you see the bit of a theme that's coming here um last couple um majority of people do not set goals and do not goal set and they let the day run away with them rather than them running the day so if the majority of people are unhappy unsatisfied low self-esteem low self-worth low confidence and that's what they're doing here's an idea successful people goal set successful people have ambitions successful people have a to-do list successful people have high productivity high productivity time high recovery time so just an idea if the majority of people are not goal setting and not moving towards their goals by creating great habits maybe we should do the opposite and set two to three mini goals for ourselves think of the habits that are going to get us to those goals and start working towards it day after day so i think you can see a bit of a theme with this vlog and all i'm trying to say is be careful who you copy be careful you're not becoming a statistic be careful that if you want to change your body, increase your savings, increase your self-worth, you're not doing the same as the masses that haven't got the things that you want. Surely if you're going to copy or emulate uh, someone, it should maybe be somebody who looks how you want to look, feels how you want to feel, is in the living situation, and, and just maybe say, well, what steps did they take? Because... I've got to have more chance of success and perhaps going with a statistic. So I know this is a bit of a taboo subject. All I'm trying to um, say is you create your own future and your destiny. You don't have to follow the masses. So I'm hoping you've enjoyed uh, this vlog. If you have, please press the like button and share it so lots of people see this free info. If you'd like to know any more about my PT, my warrior boot camps, my nutrition, sports, massage, my tutoring, my seminars, please do a Google search or Facebook search or any social media for Matt Bartram PT or go to my website, which is www.personaltrainertamworth.com. Have a great day. Design your own life. Be epic. And I'll speak to you all soon.